Welcome to the third season of the NIDS Whitelist server. You see, the difference here is, Dracul, you only said it to me, as far as I remember. And Boris kind of just blasted it out to everyone. everybody. And that, of course, was the traumatic experience that stuck with me. And has now defined my life. You are now the designer of butt plugs? Actually, yes. I've been known for that apparently for a longer time what do you think I try giving my ships even more abstract shapes now so people think less of these things but apparently it just makes them more think about those ah uh, I should give up I think now the thing you're you're so associated with um, with anal beads and other stop that toys. for cool saying that's your petite who me yeah, you, because you can't push it. You've got weak arms. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I think I'm... Oh, look, I have got more steel plate. Excellent. You need to elaborate what you're saying nope to, because, y y you know... Delay. Uh, <laughs> Stream delay. I, I, don't, I, uh, I don't remember what I talked about a few minutes ago. I can't even remember breakfast. Speaking about breakfast, it's one in the morning. Time for Oops. some breakfast, right? Uh, what, are you ready? Are you hungry? Uh, no. Oh, I could put... Did I have the, the beacon there? I could put beacon there. Oh! Yeah. Beacon. I keep getting that scenario even more wrong. You're kind of burying... You're trying to... Digging up my repressed memories here. So apparently Boris was in the world when Dracul saw it and he said that he wasn't sure if I wanted to know what he thought of it. I suppose I then insisted on wanting to know of his opinion. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Thank you. Sal. Yeah? Stupid idea. Uh-huh. How about you move the cockpit one back further? Uh, because... You want Move the cockpit. the cockpit one back further and then you could put the med bay in the front. Can't. Yes, you Because can. it's got to go against this. It's got to sit on top of the oxygen you container. Can, you can shift that its position still. I mean, you've got plenty of space down there. You're not really using it for anything. Um. Oh, let me just go shift your chair. Look, see, definitely fixed against something. It is too weak. No, you haven't failed me, I have failed you. Could have put the beacon down there. No, really. You could put it upright, but you know. Did I actually want to. I was the door didn't, let me it wasn't, didn't used to be in that position, by the way. Where was it? One to the left. By left, you mean forwards? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that was because the first design of the space boat had the cockpit pressed right up against the cargo containers and then I set the car, uh, set it one back I can't remember how I did it but I set it one back um, and now actually the door should be there I just never got round to setting that back mm -hmm. now I'm thinking because of where the connectors are setting the cockpit back one would not be a bad idea good idea me. What are you saying here? I only have good ideas. You don't need to point it out. <laughs> uh, well done for so graciously uh, accepting my uh, my acknowledgement of your good idea. I didn't even do that. Just need to keep an eye on my inventory. There we go. Um... <coughs> Ah, but I suppose you won't put the med bay in front, will you? Um, no, no, no. Ah. 
And gravity mm, generator at least. I still don't get why we need a gravity generator. Doesn't this I can, I can jump into the ship when I want. I don't need to, you know, awkwardly fly in there. Trying to get a hold of my seat. Uh, Sal? Yeah? It worked. What did? Um, first off, good night, Zerunex. Hope you sleep well. Night, Zerunex. Secondly, um, it worked. What's Patrick it? Cool just noticed the S and M thing. <laughs> he assumes that it stands for Sam and Mir. It does? But he was thinking of the other thing. Uh-huh. You see, the problem here is she did that on purpose. Mm-hmm. He knows. Does he? Of course he knows. That you did that, you did that on purpose? Uh-huh. He oh. knows I did that on purpose. And okay. the worst part is she, she now puts it everywhere. Uh-huh. I do. At, f- at first, if you remember me, I was very careful wasn't I I was very advisory it's like oh Mia we've got to be careful how we get which order we get our initials in because if we do it S and M people will think things mm-hmm. will associate that and Mia was like why what yeah. um, um, then when I went her uh, Mia remembered um, and then it kind of oh and then I was in the nid for too long and it was like oh our names spell S and M let's do that then Uh, not that one. That one. Um, uh, but the MS would have been so nice. MS is a shop. No. MS as a marine spaceship. The MSS. I don't know. Energy. Oh. The MSS adjacency would have been a nice name. And now you stick with your within. Sniz, I kind of clicked away. Don't show me advertisement. I don't want to see that. No, 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 go away. Um, Scovenus is rightfully pointing out that I apparently did tie you to a chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, and um, Dracul missed that story. Yeah, let's not, not think about it. But Dracul, you'd be surprised to know that Mir is not a rope bunny. I don't know why I was so surprised at that, but I was. Ouch. Sorry, why am I apologising? Because you put your clawful chair there in my way. There, like that. Then the... Not that. That that one a new bug oh what's the new bug I don't know and Dracul is asking isn't MS a disease or a condition of some sort why does everybody keep thinking that Uh, it is multiple sclerosis oh why can't we just stick with the MSS adjacency it's a nice name sounds like it's marine spaceship or also reads out me and Sal. And... Did I recolor that block? I recolored that block. Damn it. Congratulations. That means I've got to get in between that bit there again now. Um, connectors are connected when you log in, but they don't appear to be. Is it just a visual glitch? The ship moves around as if it isn't. If you move away from it. And Tracool wants to know more about that chair that you're being tied to. <laughs> of course he does. And um, he then just drop a band back and explode. It's a definite glitch. Remember how just a few, you know, minutes ago I was saying mm-hmm. that Keen was still trying to cram another bug in? Yep. 
They did it. I know it so much. So is it a book? <laughs> well, according to Jacquel, it's space engineers, so of course it must be a feature. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind knowing a bit more about that book just so I know how to behave around it. If currently, you don't need to worry about it, seeing how you're still running on the pre hot fix version. Yeah, and but I assume I... You, it won't be fixed anytime soon. But I'll need to know about it at some point. What have I still got in my inventory? Okay. Um, Digi Samurai simply recommends that you disconnect from the connect and then reconnect it. Okay. The lovely thing about it is, so far we're Almost nobody on the server is using connectors as far as I know. Yeah. Since we just they didn't trust them. kind of randomly exploded anyway. Mm -hmm. So we certainly don't leave anything connected. I think there's been a little bit of a drift towards checking them, sometimes using them. The, oh, the most unfortunate part about this is that if you have a ship in a gravity well, according to Digi mm -hmm. Samurai, uh, that is only being held up by the connector, yep. as soon as you load back into the wall, the ship will it go falls. kaboom. Oh, that's an old bug. Uh, no, no, so no. That's it, an old bug they've reintroduced. Uh, it, it will uh, only go kaboom because the connector isn't holding it up and mm -hmm. it will fall down. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that book has been there before. Where if you leave a ship connected and you log on and off, then the when you log back in, the ship just falls off the connector. Displays. Got displays in one of these. But I'm, uh, I'm only declaring that as a good thing on the grounds that it's like, ah, oh, that one, yeah, we know how to deal with that one. I'm glad it's that one. It's just, it's unusual for them to reintroduce an old bug rather than come up with a brand new one that we have to think of a new workaround for. Well, it's just like the spirit of Easter. <laughs> but he died, and uh, after and it was a few days, it was resurrected and came back, and is now ascending to version 1.0 of the game. <laughs> and oh wait, did they already release 1.0? No, right? No. Good. Are you sure that spreading the teller on the space engineers is going to fix anything? <laughs> Willing to try. We're not going to. I know you've got a kilo, but you're not going to spread it all over your computer. What are you? <laughs> a four-year-old? What do I need? All Just right, please. Have, case, computers have a good night, DG Samurai, and good luck with that greenhouse. Good night. Wish him good luck on his greenhouse. Good luck with your greenhouse. Good. Uh, what did I need again? And according to Vladi, as you call him, um, tell us the answer to everything. <laughs> oh, can I ask Vladi if that is... Is it a male or a female name? It's just the Vladi that I know is actually female. Really? Hmm. And um, what is it short for? Um... Vladi's lover. I don't know actually because she's uh, it's a girl I work with and her name on the system is just Vladi. But people do use shortened Hold names. Hold on a second, I what? just realised something. What? DG Samurai said, see you all tomorrow. <laughs> we'll still be here. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, oh Mia's gone and had a dramatic moment again. Just... Somebody get the smelling salts. 
display. Display and bulletproof glass. We've got displays up here. Uh, however, I don't have much bulletproof, bulletproof glass anywhere. Need to bring some bulletproof glass. Uh, what does the door need? Dacty and roses is, according to Dracul, the answer to everything. <laughs> Do you use them in combination? Do you use the roses first and the dacty later if the roses fail? <laughs> I can see exactly where Mia's mind's going with this. It's hilarious. It's not really. It's actually quite gruesome. Well, yeah, it's quite gruesome, but it's hilarious because it's you. Um... Alright. Vladislava is saying a male, Vladislava is female. Ah, okay. Oh, I assume Vladimir is the male version and Vladislava is the female version? Small. I'm confused. But I'm happy that you two have such a connection. More bulletproof glass. I need many, many, many bulletproof glasses. I'll go get some. Yeah. We're nearly there, Mia. What do you mean we're nearly there? We're nearly complete with the... Did we decide what we were calling it? It's another 22 hours and 45 minutes. No, I meant with the ship. Okay, and Tricol said uh, we, he forgot about WD-40. I've actually seen that stuff in the store recently. Yeah. I was surprised that that's an actual thing. Yeah. I just thought it was a weird stuff that they oh, came up with in no, King no. of the Hill. No, no, it's a... Uh, you get it... It's been in the UK for 100 years or more. It's probably the same in the States. It's a, an oil made out of fish oil. And it's remarkable stuff. Because as well as anti-rust and anti-squeaking and all its sort of lubricant properties and all that sort of thing. It's a really, really good glass cleaner. What? I know. It's bizarre. It's got all kinds of really unexpected uses. Well, can I use it instead of duct tape and roses? Depends what you were going to do with the duct tape and roses. Everything? Uh, well, usually, you if you, you buy a can of WD-40, and uh, or it's like a pack of duct tape and WD-40. Because if it's not supposed to move, you use duct tape, and if it is supposed to move, then you use WD-40. And that's the general rule. Right, radio components, that's going to take the, um, the little butt to... Oh, like according to this... Um I suppose you could imagine that as a diagram. Um, Drickle posted. Um, I, I, I am supposed to use WD-40 and duct tape, since those are the answer to everything. Uh-huh. It, it asks the question, does it move? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so does it move? In case, yes. Should it move? If not, use duct tape. Um, if if it moves and it should move, it's no problem. Does it not move and should it move? Uh, in that case, you use W40. And if it doesn't move and should move, it's no problem. I think it's easier if 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 you read that yourself. <laughs> oh, that was where. Your chair was... W40 also gets paint and grease and basically everything off your skin as well. Does it get rid of my skin too? 
probably 